Hello friends, in the last video we solved an initial value ODE using explicit Euler method. In this video we are going to solve an initial value ODE using implicit Euler method. Like the explicit Euler method, the implicit Euler method is also a finite difference method. In the previous video we gave some introduction to finite difference method and as well as Taylor series expansion. So we'll relook into the Taylor series expansion again because this is the fundamental for de uh, developing um, the equation for the implicit order method. So if f of x is a continuous function we can say f of x plus delta x equals f of x plus f dash of x times delta x plus f double dash of x times delta x squared by 2 factorial and so on where f dash of x is the first derivative of f of x and f double dash of x is the second derivative of f of x with respect to x. Likewise f of x minus delta x equals f of x minus f dash of x times delta x times f double dash of x times delta x squared by 2 factorial and so on. Equation 1 is called forward Taylor series expansion that we used to develop Euler's um, explicit method and equation 2 is called backward Taylor series expansion and we need this equation to generate our Euler's implicit method equation and delta x is a fraction and is a small value so delta x squared delta x cube etc are even smaller and these terms can be ignored in general we'll continue with the taylor series expansion as shown here y n equals y n plus 1 plus y dash n plus 1 times negative delta t plus y double dash n plus 1 by 2 factorial times negative delta t whole square plus y triple dash n plus 1 by 3 factorial times negative delta t whole cube. When we rearrange equation 3 y dash n plus 1 equals y n plus 1 minus y n over delta t plus half times y double dash of n plus 1 times delta t minus 1 over 6 times y triple dash of at n plus 1 times delta t square. If we truncate the remainder terms after delta t, we have y dash n plus 1 equals y n plus 1 minus y n over delta t plus half times y double dash of tau times delta t. But tau lies between t and t minus delta t. We can rearrange equation 5 as y dash at n plus 1 equals y n plus 1 minus y n over delta t and this is of the order of delta t. Equation says 6 is a first order backward difference approximation of y dash, y dash at grid point n plus 1. So now consider a general non-linear first order ODE of the form y dash equals f of t comma y. The initial condition is given as y at t naught equals y naught. The first order backward difference finite difference approximation of y dash as given in equation 5 is reproduced here. When you substitute equation 5 into equation 7 we get y n plus 1 minus y n over delta t plus half times y double dash of t n plus 1 tau n plus 1 times delta t equals f of t n plus 1 comma y n plus 1. Note in this case n plus 1 is the base point. We now solve uh, rearrange equation 8 we get y n plus 1 equals y n plus delta t times f of t n plus 1 comma y n plus 1 minus half y double dash 
tau n plus 1 times delta t square. If we let f n plus 1 equals f of t n plus 1 comma y n plus 1, we have y n plus 1 equals y n plus delta t times f n plus 1. This, this is of the order of delta t square. By repeated application after n steps, we have y n plus 1 equals y n plus delta t times f n plus 1. This is of the order of delta t. So equation 10 is the finite difference equation of the implicit Euler's method. To summarize, the FDE is implicit since fn plus 1 depends on yn plus 1. We can go back and verify that. If you look at the third line from the top, fn plus 1 is a function of tn plus 1 um, and yn plus 1. So fn plus 1 uh, depends on yn plus 1. This FDE requires only one point as in the explicit Euler's method. Hence, it is a single point method. The FDE requires only one derivative function evaluation, that is f of t comma y per step. The error in calculating y n plus 1 for a single step, the local truncation error is of the order of delta t squared. The global, that is the total error accumulated after n steps is of the order of delta t. This is the same uh, global error um, we had when we used explicit Euler method as well. The algorithm based on repetitive application of this implicit Euler FDE to solve initial value ODEs is called the implicit Euler method. And the implicit Euler method is unconditionally stable. So we will solve the same problem that we solved using explicit Euler method. But by, uh, but by using implicit Euler method now. So the dy over dx is given as shown. We need to integrate this equation to solve for y. And x value ranges from 0 to 4. We'll use a step size of 0 0.5. The initial condition is given as when x equals 0, y equals 1. And the exact solution is given as below. We will now manually do the first step. The implicit Euler method's equation is given as yn plus 1 equals yn plus delta t times fn plus 1. And fn, the function, is given over here. Let n plus 1 equal 0 let n equals 0, then we have y1 equals y0 plus delta t times f1. The step size delta x equals 0 0.5 and the initial condition y0 equals 1. We need to calculate f1 which is equal to f of x1 comma y1. So we substitute x1 value into the function f of x comma y and we get f1 equals 1.25. Now we substitute this back into the Euler's implicit uh, method equation which is y1 equals y0 plus delta t f1 which is equal to 1 plus 0 0.5 times 1.25 which is equal to 1.625. Likewise we can calculate y2, y3, and so on. We will now look at the MATLAB code to solve the same problem using implicit Euler method. The function or the is given as y dash equals f of t comma y that's the equation uh, for the initial value ODE and the implicit Euler method equation is given as y n plus 1 equals y n plus delta x times f n plus 1. The initial value problem is given as dy over dx equals 
negative 2 times x cube and so on. We need to numerically integrate the above equation to solve for y from x equals 0 to x equals 4 using step size of 0 0.5. The initial condition is given as y at x equals 0 equals 1 and y the exact value is given as is shown below. The equation for the implicit Euler method is given over here. Now we'll use the step size of 0 0.5 and try to solve this problem, this IVP or the initial value problem. The first uh, step we have is we can even um, compare this to the exact value. So the first value we calculated was 1.625. When we go back and check it, y1, the first value of is 1.625 that matches our manual calculation over here and we can look at the the graph here and we notice that it's not very accurate so to get better accuracy we um, change the step size from 0 0.5 to say 0 0.05 and rerun this and now the error is less as we can see from the graph we can go one more step and make it 0 0.005 run it again and now the two curves are pretty close to each other with one more uh, delta x value smaller value than what we used before when we rerun this and uh, the y value calculated numerically the blue line and the y exact value obtained analytically they match pretty close so since the implicit euler method is although it is conditionally stable to obtain better accuracy we need to make the step size very small that is the delta x has to be pretty small to summarize what we have done so far in this video we presented implicit Euler method to solve an initial value ODE the FTE or the finest finite difference equation is implicit since fn plus 1 depends on yn plus 1. The implicit Euler method is unconditionally stable. There is no stability criteria associated with this. The global error is of the order of delta t as we have seen in the explicit Euler method. This error can be minimized by using smaller steps. In the next video we can look at modified Euler or two-step method to solve initial value ODEs. It's produce more accurate results. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please post it. I will be uploading the code into a website and I'll provide some details in the YouTube.